So Todd, like I should mention, has the most amazing Edgar Rice Burroughs themed uh, YouTube channel. He has so much Edgar Rice Burroughs content on there and it is amazing. Uh, just search on his name and find it. Man. It is fantastic. So Christopher Paul Carey and Mike Wolfer from Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. did a live stream last night. And yes, they had some very kind words to say about me and did a wonderful shout out. And I really appreciate the love. But boy, did they drop a lot of reveals and a lot of wisdom during this hour and a half conversation that they had. And so I just want to talk about that. And some of it's little stuff like there's no definitive way to pronounce Mahar or Mahar. Um, and apparently they're not interested in doing a story about Cyborg Tarzan. So Mike Wolfer threw that out there as kind of a funny example of a, a concept that wouldn't work with their stories. And, you know, I kind of want to see a cyborg Tarzan now. But seriously, let's get around to the big news. And that is that Victory Harbin, Fires of Halos by Christopher Paul Carey, the last novel in the Swords of Eternity super arc that's been crossing over between Tarzan and John Carter and Carson Venus, it is out even though it's not been released yet. And so how is that possible? Because Amazon has released the Kindle edition, even though the print editions are not shipping yet. They will be shipping soon. They've got the print edition in, and they're just waiting for the other two editions to ship them all out at one time. But right now, you can go get that Kindle edition. And so I don't think Amazon released it early. I think like Victory Harbin, they're just not bound by our perception of time. And so, yes, you can read Victory Harbin Fires of Halos right now and learn the secrets of the universe, or you can wait a little bit longer and get the print edition. Another announcement was that the Kickstarter for the Jane Porter City of Fire graphic novel will be beginning in a matter of days. So keep your eyes peeled for that and get your wallets ready. And that will be followed by a Victory Harbin graphic novel, and that will be Victory Harbin Ghost of Omos, and they revealed that the artist was going to indeed be Alessandro Rinaldi, who has already been doing Victory Harbin in the Beyond the Further Star Warriors of Xandar comics, so it's great that he's going to get to continue that work. And they said that graphic novel was already close to completion, too. And speaking of Rinaldi, you can get this wonderful cover he did of Victory Harbin and Hucklebuck in a shirt and or hoodie on Amazon right now. And so they also provided some great creative insight. And part of that was about the ghostly script, which is this unfinished fragment by Edgar Rice Burroughs that was never published, that they're using elements of that in the Victory Harbin novel. So you know how characters like John Carter just inexplicably end up on other planets? Well, according to what they were saying, Burroughs gave a possible explanation for this in the ghostly script, and that's what they'll be exploring in the Victory Harbin novel, so that's pretty exciting. And it's set in a solar system with three suns, which made me think of the cover for the Jane Porter and the City of Fire graphic novel. Christopher Paul Carey also talked about how Victory Harbin was created, and so he actually had the idea for turning Gretchen von Harbin from the Tarzan twins into an action hero, sending her down to the Earth's core where she has an adventure and meets her husband. And so when he was trying to come up with a new character for the Swords of Eternity arc, he just thought about how old Gretchen's daughter would be. And so he decided to make Victory Harbin the character that would tie the Swords of Eternity arc together and that's really cool because that's really the opposite of the way I thought it would be. I thought that probably he came up with victory and then tried to look for a way to integrate the character but instead it just happened you know almost by accident and sometimes that's the best type of creativity is the type that's accidental and not intentional. It means that your story is growing naturally and organically and the characters you come up with fit naturally into the world that you're creating. And so he said he actually had another idea for a story with Gretchen von Harbin called the Mayhar Wars, which I think sounds really awesome. And so who knows, maybe at some point we'll get to see more action with Victory's mom. And one last bit of insight, if you've ever wondered why 
big stores like Barnes and Nobles don't have the new novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. on the shelf. It's because those stores require books to be returnable and Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. is a small company and so they don't have the staff or the warehouse space to handle all the hundreds of books that would be returned. But they do work with smaller indie bookstores and so if you're interested, contact them and they can give you a wholesale rate. All right, and obviously I will keep you guys updated and there will be reviews coming of Victory Harbin and the Jane Porter graphic novel and all that good stuff. So if you want more videos, well, I'm actually going to let Mike Wolfer tell you this time. Subscribe to his channel, watch his videos, like and subscribe, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Yeah. See ya.